the, let's bring you this story, the remains of some liberation fighters who passed away in Zimbabwe and Zambia set to arrive at Vatarkluf Air Force Base today. These include the remains of advocate Duma Nogwe, who's a former ANC Secretary General. Uh, he died in Zambia back in 1978, as well as Edwin Litsolo Makoti, a former PAC leader who passed away in Zimbabwe in the 1980s. Now, the Sports, Arts and Culture Minister, that's Gaten McKenzie, and his defence counterpart, Andrew Motsecha, are said to re receive those remains. Kaili Kumalo is part of our team um, at watching the story, and he joins us now from the Air Force Base itself. And Kaili what are we hearing around when these remains are likely to arrive? Well, absolutely, Ayanda. So it's bound to be a very emotionally charged day here at uh, the Air Force Base. In terms of the arrival of uh, the flight, we do understand it's going to be 2 p.m. Uh, but uh, prior to this, as we're talking to each other in the Zimbabwean capital in Harare, that's where another ceremony is underway as they prepare for the official repatriation of these mortal remains. But also, Ayanda, there's a sense of gratitude from the families. I mean, it's been a long awaited period and it's going to culminate in a matter of few hours to go and also then on friday then you'll have a homecoming and repatriation ceremony in one of the very important sites uh, freedom park and as you know that south africa has really come to terms with a very turbulent past and here with these mortal remains really quite a number of prominent people like you alluded the likes of uh, Duma Nogwe, the former ANC Secretary General, a man who played a very pivotal role in fighting against apartheid inside South Africa. You go back to the 50s at the very height of defiance campaign in the 50s but also this is a man who was a lawyer, who was a teacher but also eventually became a diplomat because he was championing the cause of the ANC within the international community through the likes of over you at the time, present day African Union and many other international platform really talking about the atrocities that were committed by the apartheid regime. But other very interesting names are under the likes of Todd Machigiza, a very prominent journalist. He worked uh, for the Drum magazine. He was based in Zambia. His remains as well will be coming back here in South Africa. So not only just the ANC members, or predominantly ANC members, also PAC members as well. Their remains will finally get to be finally here at home, really. It was quite fascinating listening to the stories uh, from the families, how they've been yearning for this moment, how it's been really terrible to really know that their loved ones are outside of the country. Absolutely, and in many ways, the journey of those remains coming home precipitates the journey for these families to find closure. So it's a very important story. Without a doubt, one will continue watching. Kaili Shukumalo, live to us there from just outside the Vatarkluf Air Force Base. Thanks very much indeed.